welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the corner, uh, ring the little bell, you'll get notifications every time I put a video up. Right, today, uh, back in the job in Coventry, uh, Western Power have been out, so we've now had the mains moved. So, we, I'll show you. So don't worry about this one, because this is the drive one, as I showed in another video, that's coming out the way. So that's going to be terminated through. So, I haven't actually looked at this myself yet. So, we've got... So, it's the old um, old meter that's gone back in, which is which was mounted over that direction. This is going to have a smart meter fitted to it at some stage. Um, not entirely sure when, but it's probably at the end of the building. So, it's nice to put new mains isolator in, which is great. So I'm going to be connecting up the new mains. I'm going to show you the the jointing kit. Um, so the lads were here nice and early this morning. And let Steve go through with the skip was changed. Steve, Steve was here at what seven? Something like that. About seven this morning. Not seven. Not giving you that much credit. Half half seven. Like it makes that much difference. Still early. Um, so. The new joint uh, has gone in, so obviously they work live when they do this. So new joints in, um, so we can now carry on. So they put like a, a resin inside that. Um, so that's all done. That's got to be, uh, add some sand blinding over it. We'll sort all this out because they're just throwing that in. So a bit of sand blinding on it. Then uh, the gas is going to be sorted. That's all going to be renewed. And then another load of sand blinding. And then we can backfill it. Um, so that is where it was before. So that's the old mains cut out there. Um, so obviously now this does nothing whatsoever. So I'm going to take these out because these are our temporary, our temporary sockets. I did when I first came in. So these are going to come out, and then we're going to be fitting our new garage consumer unit for now because like I say we're going to be here for quite a long time so new garage board is going to go in it's a BG board uh, that we're going to fit in so that's going to be mounted up here here's the holes ready for the meter tails to come through mount the new board two double sockets underneath um, and then happy days really that we can just we aren't going to worry about it then then all the first fix we can run all the tails down so they're all going to be here ready for the new board so they're going to be coming up from this area run down ready to go um so yes i've also ordered a new wearer wearer torx screwdriver so i'll open that up show you what that's like in there because i've still got the cellophane out. i haven't opened it up myself so yes so don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. I'll put the link below. Uh, it's at Greenhawk Construction. Um, but yeah, so it's a lovely, beautiful, sunny day. So I shall see you in a little bit. Right, thought I'd just go through that. I've opened the uh, Weira um, torque screwdriver, um, which is that one. I must admit, really impressed with it. It's just a really decent bit of kit, actually. I'm gonna set you up on here if I can. Ah, so what you get in this when you when you buy it? So it's a pretty fancy case to be honest. But there you go. This was 130 quid. So in here, you have another adapter that you can click any one of these in. But yeah, overall, really impressed with it. I didn't realise it actually comes with all the Torx bits on this side as well. So that's actually really handy. Um, yeah that's that so take it back this is a temporary supply that we're putting in um because like i say we're going to be here for a long time and so i put a new new um garage consumer unit bg one um two double sockets on here so put it as a ring um but actually tightening these up is a lot more than i actually thought it was so like I say, on here, you can see that. I'm not sure whether you can focus that, but there is all your torque settings. So to change it, you pull that back 
and then twist it round and obviously there's a little arrow and you can match it through. See that little arrow there? Let's see if I can focus that in. Yeah, maybe not. Um, so yeah, so anyway, on, so on there, whenever you buy a consumer unit, it will always have the manufacturer's uh, specifications on torque settings. So like I say, this is a temporary supply. There's nothing, there's only us guys here. Um, it's not going to stay here permanently. The main board's going to be here. It might be slightly over this way a little bit um, because there's the boiler going up here uh, and then a big cylinder tank around this area somewhere. So this might be moved over slightly, but we need it for now. Um, but yeah, so when I bought the consumer unit inside, there's a sheet on there that tells you all the torque settings. So on here, You've got, um, got on that one 0.5. It says on there, ensure all terminals and connections are basically tightened up to the recommended max torque settings. So for MCBs, RCBOs, is two, and the terminal screws is actually two newton meters. Uh, switch is 3.5 newton meters. RCDs are 2.5 newton meters. So. Whenever you change or fit a new board, you need to check all the terminals anyway. Um, so I just thought I'll give a little little check on there. And these are all torqued up now, like it says on in the instructions at two newton meters. So I just thought I'll just just try this one here. And it's surprising how much further in it actually goes to the right torque settings. So it just goes to show that from when it leaves the factory to whenever you buy it, that they're not necessarily right. So it does show you the importance of checking that they are at the correct tightness. So overall very impressed. Um, but yeah, is it worth the money? Yeah, so far, like I say, it's early days on it, but so far, yeah, really is worth the money. Um, because, you know, I've been doing this quite a long time. And you always think, yeah, it's quite tight. I've done that up, you know, tight enough, but clearly, might not be. So it's food for thought, isn't it, if you haven't bought one. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go and do the connections the other side now, um, and get this powered up, get the fridge on, and more importantly, get the kettle on. So I shall show you how you're doing that. Right, that's the temporary install installed. So these are all gonna be changed, because so they're not gonna be the right size guarantee it for when i put the new board on but they're in now anyway they're all, they're all fixed back uh just put some banding strap on for now that'll do um more importantly the fridge is on so we can get cracking um used a whisker stuffing gland which is designed for meter tails in a 16 mil, mil earth which are brilliant bits of kit they are they're really good um so yeah so at the minute we've just got a little ring underneath i probably didn't need a ring but it is what it is um so I'll label that up. We may have some temporary lights going on a bit further on down the line. Sorry, did not hold that on right. Yeah, so we may have some temporary lights rigged up. Um, that's all ready to go. Uh, I'll walk you around while I'm breaking my neck, nearly. Um, so yeah, so the overall, oh, invaded. Overall, the Torx screwdriver is very, very good. Very, very good, very nice. So I'm gonna leave that in, in with my tester so it doesn't get battered and ruined. Um, yes, so I'll show you the, the meter box. Um, yeah, overall, very impressed, but the only thing I you just wanna make sure that double check the polarity when it comes in because I don't know whether the Western Power Boys do it or not, but obviously I need to just double check Make sure everything's fine. Tested all the circuits anyway. I don't know whether the sun's probably in your face rather than mine. Um, so I've tested all, all that temporary supply. I'll register that. So that's all done. Um, so yeah, so obviously you've got your uh, mains isolator. Excuse me. Uh, let me just do a check to see where that is. Okay, one second. Uh, yeah, mains isolator, main fuse. Don't need to touch that anymore because you've got mains isolator. I'm going to try and get that 
on there to neaten that up yes it is all being rendered but um if we can bung that up better right i shall crack on help setting out got to put some sand in this trench now ready for the gas people happy days right what we're doing now is we're gonna get the sand blinding in over the top of the uh the mains and also the garage lights so how we do it well i do it is so the mains have all come in so those two there are the ones the mains for the new property and the other one is for the garage lights uh, garage lights the driveway lights sorry so because this is all zigzagging all over the place and there's a bit more excess which is down there i've got to try and lose so what i'll do is put it in piles to hold the cable down in the highest spots and then work my way back so you see where there's a big lump there there's also a hump in that which is there so that's gonna have to be so i'll be in there and i'll get key in to drop some more down on there while i hold it down on the deck uh and then fill all that in walk it down make sure there's plenty over it and then it's ready for the gas the gas mains to be going in then uh and then after that there'll be some more backfill of the soil which is down there um so that'll go in uh, probably another 200 mil something like that and then there'll be electrical marker tape put in which is over here um so the electrical marker tape which is let's get that now is is that so for that that whole lot there is probably 20 quid and i think it's like 300 meters on it or something like that so let's face it uh yeah just bang that on there mate. That's nice of, he's pinching that wheelbarrow well, if you need it, get it. i will need it yeah um but yeah if uh yeah, yeah if you grab that one yeah that. bloody youth of today um yeah so that nobody's got really any excuse not to put that in it's 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 hardly expensive but it does potentially save the life of the next guy might be 50 years down the line you know hopefully it withstands that um but you know you can walk away you've done your job right and you potentially saved some chap's life um so so yes well hopefully we won't have any more time to have to come up in the future it should be that's it, all done but like I say technology moves on um but yeah so i'll get that all pushed in now um i think kian uh, kian's loading out he's loading out the blocks over there um i think sean and steve i think they're going uh starting to mark out where all the actual extension's going to be i might be able to show you a little bit of what they're doing but i don't know yeah so i think what they're doing now the still saw's playing up as well so that's that's going to cause a problem in a minute so they're laying out because there's going to be a, basically a porch coming off this way uh they're setting out down that side for the corners um whether or not they're going to get onto that today i don't know um, so we shall see but there's other bits to be getting on with like that, that doorway there needs blocking up there's another doorway that needs blocking up as well um are you planning on laying some blocks there then Lou? Yeah. yeah or not um, all right okay okay that's fine it's no problem mate it's no props um yeah so i'll get on with that um and then i shall catch up with you once i've done all that right that's the blinding gone in um i don't know whether i've mentioned it before but there's obviously certain depths that things have to work to um the minimum depth now because the gas is going to be on the top so you the way we've done it is the way I think it should be done the right way. Water on the bottom because for freezing elements, then electric, then gas. Uh, but I do, I always do the meter, the trenches at a meter deep uh, for the utilities uh, because then you've got loads of room to maneuver. Um, so at the, the minimum it has to be for the gas, which is the one that's normally on the top. Um, would be is 450 mil from the finished floor so this the highest 
part we've got of this blinding now. You know, you see that? That's 600 basically is where is our highest point and then down here it because it, it tails off a little bit it goes to about 800 now now bearing in mind i've already got two lots of blinding in i've got water in in there the electric mains are in there as well now so i'm just ready for the gas now so that'll be good yes i am ready for the gas what's happened to your t-shirt i got nailed you got nailed Steve's been <laughs> ripped his, uh, his, his t shirt. Yeah, that's it, flashing all the goods. I'm going to have to show you now. It's going to look like I'm a weirdo. Look, big skag mark there, look. That's a new t shirt. Um, yeah, so we're ready for the gas now. Uh, hopefully, with a bit of luck, they, fingers crossed, I'm hoping they come tomorrow, but no, my luck, it'll be the end of the week. Um, because I want to off hire the digger. Um, and also I want that cupboard down. The only reason why that's not down now is because the gas mains is in it. And I, then I can get the drive back to normal. I can fill all the trenches in and get some of this stone shifted. Uh, and then we can get another van up here and we're all off the road. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Right, we've just smashed the rest of that, that concrete. It's ridiculously hard, that is. Stupid hard. Don't know why, but it's like that. There's the other bit down there. That was, in fact, I'm to show you how thick that one was. Look at that. Look how thick that is. Um, so yeah, so that wasn't much fun. Um, so that's all broken up now. 
Um, and smash that. I just wanted to show you the importance of wearing eye protection. I don't know whether you can see that properly, but so all that is was what would have been straight in my eyeballs. Um, I don't know anyone else who's had something jammed in their eye before. I was just explaining to Kian that a few years ago I had a piece of brick shoot off and it stuck, a shard of it stuck in my eye. And the way they get that off is by using a syringe and scraping the eyeball. So I apologise for eating your dinner because it is disgusting, but it ain't much fun having that done to either. Um, so the importance is obviously for anyone, especially if you're an apprentice starting out or whatever, and you're looking at this and going, oh, yeah, well, you've got all this on. It's it's worth putting on. So, yeah, so we're just going to carry on getting that ready. Um, we're going to connect that three metre length up to where it is now. Uh, then we can get some pea gravel over the top of that uh, onto that bit. Um, Steve stripped all the walls and stuff off there. So I think he's just taking a lintel and stuff down the other side of that wall. Um, so, yeah, so we'll... We'll get that, that pipe on and then we'll see where we're at because it's nearly the end of the day. Let's get under there. So what Kean's doing now is putting some silicon spray on and so he can obviously get it to go round there so it gets a bit it. As long as it's on this edge, because we know it's on this pipe, it's like well you might not be able to see it. it's actually chamfered on there and that'll help. That'll probably do it mate on there. So that'll help. So what Ian's doing there, he's just putting some on the rubber seal, which is on that bit. So when you cut a pipe, what we always do is you get a little four inch grinder um, and you obviously just, just grind around the edge of it and just give it a bit of an angle. So if you didn't have that, it's going to be an absolute nightmare getting on. But Kian's never you've never had a go at that before, have you? You've yeah. never done anything not like this. It's like I say, it's, it's all new, isn't it? new experience so if you have a look inside can you see that that pipe there so there's a rim on that in there so you know you've gone far enough when that pipe there is touching that so then the new one when that goes in it will sit up to that one and then you've got in theory as long as that pipe's been cut nice and square there shouldn't be any um any lips in there then and then obviously anything waste wise will just flow through nicely um so i'll pop that down so you can see what we're doing that should be all right there i reckon yeah so, yes yeah, so if you spray some on that seal mate and then just spray some around that i'll turn that as you're going Okay, do you want me to down that end? So if you offer that up, you might find in that trench up there, you'll see a load of stuff there. So if you can push that in, Kia. Right, okay, back out, because we have to scrape a little bit out of that there. If you pull that, pull my back. Yeah, put that pipe down. Yeah, just touch that. Okay, mate. I'll go again. Okay, keep wiggling, mate. Keep going, it's going. That's it. So, there you go. So, we know that's gone all the way because you can hear it. You heard it when it when it thumped to the end. So what we've got to do now is we'll get some pea gravel around all of this. But obviously we need to put a level on that because by the looks of that, here, it looks like exaggerated that it's dipping down. And we need it to come, obviously on a not, not that angle, but be falling away nice and steadily to that corner down there and then there's a inspection chamber on that corner so if there was any issues on here we can rod it um, and then from that inspection chamber it kicks off which is up that way so it kicks off going down to the side of the house and then back into the main drains so 
We'll get some pea gravel in, I think. We'll get off of the level up. We won't be able to go any further from that point there because um, we need to wait and build that wall up. And if I put anything further on, it's just gonna get in, uh, in the way. So yeah, so we're gonna get cracking, get some, it's boiling today, Keen, isn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely, the, uh, it's Lewis has got a grey t-shirt, honestly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so me and Lewis used the red and used grey, and the other two went black, so I think they're definitely feeling it. Right, end of another day. So, just to recap what we've done today. We've sorted out this drainage bit here. We've run out of pea gravel, so that's as far as we can get. We think there's another another foot that we're going to need to to chase out here. Another foot to just because it's just catching. That's at the right level where we need it now. So we just need another foot taken out, which is a bit of a, a, bit of a nuisance. Um, so Steve stripped all the plasterboard and everything off that wall. Is Lewis Law, bless him. Um, yeah, Steve's just smashed that lintel out up. Up there, so that lintel's gone, so that's all gonna come down. Me and Steve are off to another job tomorrow. Um, so we're set Shawnee up for, because uh, he's had the day off today, um, we set Shawnee up for a load of block work, They're marked out, so that's all ready to go. So the corners are ready now. So I think Lewis might be on the trowel tomorrow, maybe Kean. So, um, on here so the new temporary consumer unit's gone on there's a garage board that we put on new tails running out to the other side for the new meter box which is on fridge is on kettle's on happy days happy days um yes yeah, so we've done blinded all the sand in all the trench now uh, so that is ready up for the gas so fingers crossed they come soon because i'm desperate to get this all covered in um once that's gone we can push all that block work get rid of that get the soil gone which is like i said there's not much there get that gone get the drive back start looking a bit more normal um kitchen's all completely gone as well out there so there's nothing left of that i think maybe wednesday when we come back me and steve i think we'll get on with the roof taking the rest of the roof sections off um so yeah so like i say don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the corner if you haven't already uh you can follow us on instagram i'll put the link below um but yeah thank you very much for watching i appreciate it and i shall see you tomorrow <laughs>